Brad Pitt threatened Harvey Weinstein with Missouri hooping for harassing his past love, claims New Report. Brad Pitt was one of the only men in Hollywood to confront Harvey Weinstein after hearing that Weinstein had allegedly made unwanted sexual advances toward his young love interest. It was back in the 1990s before Pitt blossomed into the major star he is today, revealed a source. According to People magazine, this source said Brad Pitt got wind of Weinstein allegedly sexually harassing Gwyneth Paltrow right around the time she was just hired by Weinstein for the lead role in Emma. She said Weinstein made unwanted sexual advances toward her in a hotel room. Paltrow was only 22 at that time. Pitt was taking a chance as far as his career goes, suggests this source, as he wasn't a big star at the time in Hollywood. He took that chance and history indicates it didn't seem to hold him back. Pitt went on to later work with Weinstein in the movie Inglourious Bastards, which was filmed in 2009. The source said it was Brad's relationship with Quentin Tarantino that got him to do that part. It had nothing to do with Weinstein. What exactly happened with Weinstein and Gwyneth isn't detailed for the public, but it reportedly ended with him placing his hands on her and suggesting a massage, writes People. The Daily Mail reports that Porter rebuffed him and fled before Weinstein could do anything. Then later she told Pitt about the encounter, setting the wheels in motion for his confrontation with Weinstein. It was at a Hollywood party circa 1995 when Brad Pitt reportedly confronted Weinstein. The source said, he got right in his face, poked him in the chest and said, you will not ever do this to Gwyneth ever again. The source went on to say that Brad told Weinstein if it ever happened again, there would be consequences, which was described by Pitt to Weinstein as a Missouri whooping. That is the state Pitt hails from, as he grew up in Springfield, Missouri. The source claimed that at first Weinstein tried to come to his own defense, but Brad wasn't stopping, so Weinstein stopped talking and listened to what the young actor had to say. Pitt made it very clear that it wasn't to ever happen again, and the source said it didn't. The same source sang praises for Pitt as being one of the only men in Hollywood who stood up and said something. Then, the source added, that's a fact. While Weinstein got the message, he allegedly still called Gwyneth on the phone to lambast her for telling Pitt. She said Weinstein threatened her not to speak to anyone else about it. According to People magazine, Porto told the New York Times in an interview that when he called her, I thought he was going to fire me. He screamed at me for a long time. It was brutal.